Hey, how's it going? Today I will show you how to get the VTV Mate application to your Fire Stick, which is one of the best IPTV players that you can use on your Fire Stick or Android TV devices. It supports both MPU playlists or extreme codes and is extremely easy to set up. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get the TV Mate app to your device. First of all, you have to get an app code and loader to your device. You can actually get the loader totally for free from the official Amazon App Store, so let's do it right now. You just have to go to search on your device, and here in the search bar, we will need to start typing the loader. So let's do it. And now, as you can see, the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on the loader, and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you get the loader, it's not over yet we'll still have to set it up. So in order to set up the loader, we'll go to settings. Let's do it right now. So we gotta click on that button with the gear icon. After that, you'll have to scroll down until you see my Fire TV. Open it. And here we'll need to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So, if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. You just need to go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast, so let's do it. And now, as you can see, it says no need, you are already a developer for me, at the bottom. And for you, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So, if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared for us right here. Let's open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging. After that, you'll have to go to install unknown apps. From here, just locate the loader and turn that option on. So, what it does is going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here. Now we'll open it, and there is the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the downloader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say you will connect to New Zealand, and now, after we connect it, all our traffic got totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV, or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now with the camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So let's go to the list of apps on your device, and there is the downloader, which we gotta use. So let's open the loader, then of course wait until the app loads for you, and then here on the left side menu, it's very important that you click on home and not on browser. So once again, make sure that you have clicked on home, and then after that, in that search bar, we'll need to enter a link, which is going to be tvmade.com. So let's enter it together. Once again, it's going to be tvmade, dot com so here you go there is the link 
You can see it on your screen right now, so make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes, because obviously if you make a mistake then the link is not going to work. After that you have to click on go and while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about flower sticks, as well as please hit the like button below this video, it really helps me a lot and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now, after the website has opened, you just have to scroll it down a little bit until you find that download APK button. Now we gotta click on it, and in a couple of moments the download should start for us. Yep, there it is, it should start in a couple of moments, usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. My connection is pretty fast, so, so it will take us just a couple of seconds. After that, you have to click on install and wait until TV Mate gets installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV. And now, after the app was installed, do not click on open yet. Instead, press on done, because this way we'll have an option to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on your device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way, you get rid of unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save you some free space on your device. And that's super important, because you don't really have too much of free space on your device anyway. And now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here. So we open it, scroll down, and there is the TV Mate application that we just loaded. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way, TV Mate is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Then let's open the TV Mate application, wait until it loads, then you have to click on the Add Playlist button, and from here there are two main ways, either adding a M3U link or the Xtreme codes. It totally depends on what IPTV provider you're using, and there are thousands of different live TV providers in the world, so it's totally up to you which IPTV to use. So if your provider gave you an M4U link, then you would need to click on that option. From here, you just enter the link, and after that, click on the next button right here. And then the playlist is going to appear in the list of playlists on your device. Alternatively, some providers give you extreme codes, Instead of m links, that's an option as well. In that case, you would click the Xtreme codes, enter the service address here, and then a username and a password, which you also got from your Live TV provider. And that's it, then you gotta click on Next, and a playlist is going to appear in the list of playlists on your device. Hope you enjoyed the video, and see you next time. Bye bye.